a shared to the last son bonani so for today we are going to talk about the reflex arc together with the reflex action mechanism so the two goes together the reflex arc we will be talking about the pathway of nerve impulses and the reflex action is a rapid response it's a rapid response yeah the rapid response to an internal or external stimuli to avoid body harm that's the nerve impulses will have to travel along or through the reflex arc in order to bring a response to avoid body harm uh, we can have a stimuli or a stimulus in a form of heat in a form of uh, so yeah the stimuli are not a heat in terms of heat uh, we have a candle let's assume that this is a candle okay this is a candle this is a candle burning uh, your finger it's exposed to your finger and your finger will be a receptor because it is the one which is responsible for detecting this stimuli for capturing this stimuli and your, recept uh, your receptor has got the sensor in your room within the sense for this receptor to be able to receive this stimulus is mainly because of the sensor in your room inside and then again the sensory neuron is located via the dorsal root of the spinal cord and we have the ganglion here which is best suited to accommodate the cell body of the sensory neuron this is the cell body of the sensory neuron and then moving down we have the interneuron here inside the a gray matter of the spinal cord and on the outside of course we're gonna have the white matter and then as we move down we have the ventral root of the spinal cord where we're gonna find the motor neuron and then lastly we have the effectors so now for us to be able to memorize the arc the pathway of nerve impulses we're gonna make use of the mnemonic resume this resume guy here tells you on uh, as to how the nerve impulses travel from the moment they enter your body up until they get some response. So now, uh, RE here is written for the receptors, S for the sensory neuron, I for interneuron or connector neuron, M for motor neuron, E for effectors. This is the pathway, which means that your nerve impulses will have to pass by the receptors then to the stimul uh, to the sensory neuron, then to the interneuron, and then to the motor neuron, lastly to the effectors. And that we will have to talk about the reflex action. The reflex action to see how does the nerve impulses travel along this pathway to bring about a response, the autonomic response. So now we're gonna try to put it in writing. We're gonna make use of the same mnemonic resume. So we're going to say the receptors will detect the stimuli and convert it into nerve impulses. The stimuli cannot travel via neurons, but only the nerve impulses can travel. So the moment the receptors receive the stimuli, they will convert the stimuli into nerve impulses. The stimuli will have to be converted into nerve impulses. I'll write the NE. It will have to be converted into the nerve impulses. After the stimuli has been converted into the nerve impulses, of course, by the receptors, we are here. And then the stimuli will be in terms of heat. This heat stimuli will be converted into nerve impulses. And the nerve impulses will be carried out uh, to the central nervous system. This is part of the central nervous system. Remember, our central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is part of the central nervous system. So uh, nerve impulses will be carried out via the sensory neuron to the central nervous system. Remember, the sensory neuron is uh, going to be found via the dorsal root of the spinal cord. So the sensory neuron will carry nerve impulses to the interneuron in the central nervous system and the interneuron will make the synaptic contact these are the contacts it will make the synaptic contact this is called the synapse 
this is a microscopic gap between uh, the end terminal of neurons so uh, the interneuron will make the synaptic contact with both the sensory and the motor neuron and thus it will pass on the nerve impulses from the sensory to the motor neuron and then the motor neuron will then do what it will, uh, the motor neuron will pass or transmit nerve impulses to the effectors and then thus the effectors will contract the effectors in terms of muscles they will contract if you were burning your muscles will contract to avoid body harm and then lastly after you would have contracted remember um, in the central nervous system or in the brain we have a portion known as the cerebrum this portion is responsible for receiving and interpreting all body sensations so after the effectors would have contracted you will hear a pain after and for you to be able to hear a pain the, the nerve impulses will have to be the nerve impulses will have to be transmitted or conveyed to the cerebrum where they will be interpreted and they will be interpreted as pain then you are done with your reflex arc and reflex action mechanism Dango is thank you. Aha. Uh -huh.